Always good to start with some good news on a Saturday night. And the new boss of Unilever, Heinz Schumacher, says his company, which owns Surf, Pot Noodles and Coleman's Mustard, is going to row back on the use of brands to pursue social causes and to indulge in virtue signalling. This is a good development. We've seen the soap maker Lush get into a lather over Israel. We saw Halifax sign up to trans madness with pronoun badges for their staff. And for some strange reason, Ben and Jerry's ice cream had an opinion on Britain's immigration policy. Whatever happened to an ice cream brand being vanilla? Talk about a rocky road. Remember the good old days when companies were there to make money and their main focus was to sell their products rather than wag their finger at you and pursue an often bonkers progressive agenda. Well, the good news is it doesn't work and people are voting with their wallets. Disney's ultra-politically correct recent films have bombed at the box office. Gillette insulted and lost their male customers by telling them they were responsible for toxic masculinity. And Bud Light saw a collapse in their share price after a guy identifying as a female who has a history of mocking women was used as the face of the brand. At that point, customers took the view that the marketing for that famously pissy beer was taking the piss. A ridiculous dossier on GB News star Nigel Farage was put together by the NatWest-owned Coots Bank with countless references to his political views and his support for Brexit. Another egregious example of the politicisation of our corporations. Banks, building societies and other institutions want to change the world. But all we want from them is better customer service. But it's not about the customer and these companies often don't even behave like businesses anymore, which is why many are losing income. Terrifying ESG policies, that stands for Environmental, Social and Governance, reward businesses for pushing climate alarmism and preaching progressive and often contested ideas like trans ideology, which says you can change your sex or critical race theory, which goes against Martin Luther King's message of a colorblind society. The globalist wet dream of ESG seeks to embed this divisive and often wacky stuff into the DNA of our biggest companies. Which is why this new intervention from Mr. Schumacher is so welcome and ought to bolster his company's share price, which has been tumbling. The poor guy's been sweating so much, he probably needs some of that sure deodorant that his firm makes. What was that about going broke and going woke? You heard me right. Unilever, famous for Domestos, Purcell and Dove Soap, is absolutely right to clean up its act. Bring it on.